who's locking us up? Who putting drugs in our community? Right. Who putting these liquor stores in our community? Bring it out. Who's who putting that here? Who owns it? Who runs the government? Right. Who face on the money? Right. Who face on the coins? Right. Who face on the food stamps? Bring it out. If you use your card, who you paying back? Huh? If you use your EBT card, who gave you that money? Now they're making money off the weed. You hear my brother? They say, you know what? Let's just sell weed, make money off them. So again, I don't want you to say nothing, my sister. I'm asking you a simple question. I need you to ask the really think and say, who's our enemy? My sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. When they took our children, it was nothing we could do to get them back. It was nothing. Trust me, you got a cousin somewhere you don't know about, somewhere probably in Georgia. If you go back down your line, they probably somewhere sold in Georgia, you don't know nothing about it. You trace your last name, it's going to lead to some plantation. And in that plantation, I bet your last name probably changed. You follow? What's your last name? Alan? That was your slave master's last name. Right. That's why you have that. What was your last name? Cortez. That's Hispanics, right? So-called Hispanics. The Spaniards, the white men, conquered them. Right. Same thing as the white men conquered the so-called Negroes. Same race conquered the same different, same race of people. Right. You follow? You understand that so far? Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. 48. Verse 48, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. It says, because we don't want to keep the commandments. He says, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Are we serving our enemies? What are the ways that we serving our enemies? Oh, tell me how we are not serving our enemies. You know, who's the enemy? Who's the enemy? Miss Allen, who's the enemy? Who's our enemy? Who's killing us out here? I don't want I don't want you to say nothing. I want you to actually look at look at the statistics. Who did this to us? Are we home in our own land? Are, are we killing each other? Is it hard for the black man to get a job? Is the woman over the man now? They set the woman over the man. The woman with the better jobs. Are all the men in prison? Who's locking us up? Who putting drugs in our communities? Who putting these liquor stores in our communities? Bring it out. Who's who putting that here? Who owns it? Who runs the government? Right. Who face on the money? Right. Who face on the coins? Right. Who face on the food stamps? Bring it out. If you use your card, who you paying back? Huh? If you use an EBT card, who gave you that money? Now they making money off the weed. Now they making money off the weed. You hear my brother? They say, you know what? Let's just sell weed, make money off them. So again, I don't want you to say nothing, my sister. I'm asking you a simple question. I need you to ask the really thing and say, who's our enemy? Who put, you see any, you, any, you see any gunshots around here called Ray Ray? Ray Ray gunshot. You see that around here anywhere? What about, what about Tyrone's gunshot? What about Tyrone's smoke shot? We see that around here? No, right? We don't see that around here. So how do guns get in the neighborhood then? How do drugs get in the neighborhood then? We, do we work on the docks where the drugs come in at? Do we own the ships? Do we own these stores that we work in? Do we own them? No. Show me a sister that work in a, in a, in a, in a Chinese hit, um, uh, no, nail salon. Show me a sister that work in a Chinese nail salon. You're just a customer. Right. Show me a sister that, show me a sister that works in a hair weave salon, a hair store. Show me. They don't give a damn about us. Right. They don't give a damn about us. What Bishop said? This is war. Right. They in our community sucking us dry. Dry. So my sister, who's the enemy? Who give you the rights to do everything you can do? Can you just do whatever you want to do? Or somebody told, controls you what you want to do? Or do you think that you're free? Give me a subject to payment. Hold that real quick. Who we paying bills to? Is that money that you spend go back to us? That bottom dollar that every time you spend your money on something, who that money goes to? Is it going to our communities? Because you know what? If it was going to our communities, they wouldn't have this out here right now. You see that? 
Look at that. Go downtown and see if you see that. If you see that downtown, that means it's about to go un under the ground. They're about to repair it. Yeah, got you. Zach community, watch this. Read that. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it up. Be behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. It says what? We are yet this day in our captivity. So our, our ancestors came over here in slavery, right? And we said we are yet this day in our captivity. We're still in our captivity. We're in our land. We 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 walking around with other people, other race ideology. Everything that you got in your head right now, everything you got in his head, somebody showed us that. Somebody told us that. They told us that. That's a that that that's a doctrine that they're teaching you. When you when you you live with your mom and father still. Okay, when you was in school, right? Did your mom and your mom and dad work, right? You come home. Were just were your teachers in your school black or white? Black and white. They both were black and white. More white than anything, though, right? More white. And then you come home and you turn on the TV. And what you watch? Who you see on the TV more? Your people or white people? White people. You being indoctrinated over and over, constantly, over and over and over. You turn on Facebook. You scroll down, you see pictures. Everybody living good. Oh, she got a new outfit on. She got a pocketbook. She got a red bottoms on. These are all lies. Tell them to post the bad pictures. Tell them to post that they ain't got no money in their pocket, but they got hot, nice shoes on. Tell them to post that they got them shoes from a Chinese man for $100. Post, tell them to post they struggle plate. They won't post that. So we based, we live in our life based off of lies. It's a lie. Exactly. He said, we are yet this day in our captivity and we are subject to payment. We got to work to live here. You work 12 weeks, I mean, four, two weeks, and you got to pay. Why well, don't I get paid every day? I should get paid every day if I did a job. But somebody told us, okay, I got, a better, I got another one for you. Read that scripture again, watch this. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payment. We are subject to payment. I got a question for you, my sister. Do you go to the beach or anything? You ever went to the beach? Yeah, I have. Uh, you went to the beach before. Have you ever been to a public pool? Okay, okay, okay. Now, watch this. Pay attention to it, right, my brother? I'm trying to show you that words mean things. Sometimes words can put, be putting a spell on you. It can make you believe something that's not what it is. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Bring it out. If you was in your house, I'm the mailman. And your front door, pay attention, your front door is a door that I can actually see into your house. I'm the mailman. And I look through, and you just happen to come out the shower in your panties and bra. And you see me. What would be your reaction? I'm not creeping in. I'm the mailman. I'm delivering it to your door at your house. I'm looking through your, your, front, win your front door. It's a window, and it happened just to catch you at the time that you had your panties and bra. What would be your reaction? First of all, you would start, and you would probably what? Cover up, yeah. right? Yeah. She would cover up, correct? Yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. Now, if I saw you on the beach with your two-piece bikini, what's the difference? Somebody told you there's a difference between. Panties and bra and bikini when they both two pieces. You see that? That's why they call spelling. Because they put a spell on us. We're believing things that's not true. We're believing things that doesn't exist. Do we do the right with 22 and 5? Bring it out. We have responsibility, my sister. Right, right now, at your age, it's a dangerous life. Right. There's men out here my age praying on you. This kid, this you might not know what's going on. This kid's your age being snatched, being shipped off, being kidnapped. Sisters don't, yo, sisters not supposed to walk around by themselves. This is it's serious, man. When I was when I was young, and I hear older men tell me something, I hear it. But once I walk off, it's gone. I'm telling you right now, since we study, this sisters right now that's being kidnapped. Right. Never to be seen again. You got Facebook? You, you'll see a lot of it on Facebook. We go out there and po put flies up looking for missing sisters. We ain't just out here talking. We ain't out here niggas. Right. 
We put in work. That's right. right. That's right. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy yeah. chapter 22 and verse 5. This is for yeah. you and for you. The woman. The woman, that's what she are, my beautiful sister right here. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. I said, my sister, God said my sister should not put on what pertains to a man. She may not know what that means, but watch the part, second half. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But I bet she know what that second part meant. Sister, what the second part meant that a man should not put on a woman's garment? What is a woman's garment? Woo, I told you she would know that, right? Right. My man, what's, what should not a woman put on that belongs to a man? She said dresses. What should she not put on? I got you there. When you go to the bathroom, and men and women, how you know the difference? If it wasn't written, in, if it wasn't said, it didn't say women and men, how would you know? How would you know what bathroom you should enter? No, 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 no. When you're about to walk into a bathroom, you need to choose. If there's no women, if there's no words written on it, how you know what door to go in? The sign, right? What's on the sign? How you know it's your sign? It belongs to you. What's on it? A woman with what? A dress. That's and a right. man with pants on, right? So the scripture says, a woman shall not wear what pertains to a man. Because why? Putting on pants, putting on Tim's. You carry yourself, it puts a spirit on you. Right. You start to act like a dude. That's right. Your femininity don't show. Your masculinity show. And no man want a masculine woman. That's right. right. Because guess what? If there's no God laws in them, then it's, then it's blows to your face when you cross the line. Because women deal with their mouth and men deal with actions and violence. That's right. So when a woman disrespect a man, a man can't hit a woman. But if a man disrespect a man, a man go with the blows. You follow? It puts a spirit on you. Would you take me serious out here if I had a dress on the high heels out here like sis, keep the law. Keep the law, statute, and commandments. Would you take me serious? If I had on a fire suit right now walking down the street, you would think that I was a fireman, right? If I had on a police suit, you would think I was a policeman, right? So, that's what it is. That's what you are. It says you shall not wear. Give me modest apparel. You shall not wear what pertains to a man. You should not never put on a dress. Never, ever. You should not have bra on. You should, have not, you should not have panties under your shorts. You should not be wearing men's underwear. Right. But I told you there's a word, there's a way they use words and that's a spelling. There's no difference between panties and bra and two-piece bikini. It's the same thing. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that the woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. Sister, what's a modest apparel? What's, mo what's modesty? Clothing. What's modest clothing? What you think that would be? <laughs> right, because most sisters, when they get up in the morning, right, and they throw their pants on, you got a mirror in your house? You got a mirror from floor up? No? You got a mirror, but I, I bet you, if you ain't doing it, you know a sister that does this. When she put her pants on, she goes like this in the mirror. Who's that for? Who's she doing that for, for herself? Or is she doing that for every man that she walked by? That drop his jaw, just drop his jaw, and then he want to say, sis, let me highlight you, right. what's good? Right. And then you tell him, oh, you a nigga, you cursing him out, but you showing him everything. Now he wants your body. Right. Cause why? You showed him because why? You're not dressed in modest apparel. Right. You, you're not dressed in modesty. Yeah, Read that scripture again. Give me the definition. Let's find out what modesty means. Definition of modest, dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety or indecency. It says to avoid, to avoid, because when you dress a certain type of way, you bring attention to you. You understand what I'm saying, bro? What you think about that? What you think about a sister, our sisters out here wearing long, nice dresses? Huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, Would you appreciate your woman not showing her body to everybody? Sure. All right then. What man don't? So trust me, sis. If he wants you for anything else outside of the scripture, he only wants you for one thing, and that's sex. Read that scripture again. It's, it's, finish it out. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Uh, especially avoiding sexual attention. So when you got on tight pants, when you're up showing legs. Trust me, every time you bend that leg, that man looking at that leg. You follow? So, modest apparel. Modest apparel. What is the nation?
nation is men leading by example. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.